Ladies and gentlemen, Caravan fans, welcome back to Mount Carmel Basketball. My good friend and cousin, Marty Mann, and I are back here in the Catchatory Athletic Center to announce uh, a pretty, you know, pretty good matchup tonight. We've got Gary Comer coming in to Mount Carmel here on 64th Street. We've got a pretty new team this year, no, Marty. I mean, a couple of transfers, a couple of guys coming back, a couple of seniors taking the leading role. I read a little bit about it in the Caravan our student newspaper about two weeks ago. I uh, wrote an article that now it's showtime. These guys have got to play. They're out there in the court. Marty, who do we got starting? So we got Cam Thomas, number 21. A kid who came to Carmel as a freshman, uh, left for a prep school out east. He's now coming back to start for the caravan. and showing impact on this, this court. Starts off right away, makes a move. Caravan going to have the ball here. Thomas going to bring it up. Grant now out on the left side. Moves down to Marks. Marks down low, puts it up. No good. One was deflected a little bit away by the Catamounts. They're now back on offense. Passes half court. Takes that screen. They put up a jumper. No good. Best with the rebound. Grant looks down court. Ops not to pass anybody. Goes late to show Vino back to Bess. Now it's Thomas. Marks down there. Passes it inside to Euro. Euro. Euronovich, excuse me. Gonna have to get used to that name, Marty. He's a transfer in from Stevenson up north. Now on the caravan for his senior season. Great hustle there by Grant Bess. That's, all, that's what he's all about. Loose ball. Marks down the lane. Layup is good. The caravan strike first here against the Catamount. Score 2 to nothing with 7 minutes left in the first quarter. Thomas playing aggressive up at half court. And we'll take it back to the top of the key. Ball is loose. Caravan come up with it. Marks again down the lane. Puts oh. it down. The net stays up on the rim. Caravan go up. Two scores. Great ball move there by the Caravan net. See Trey Marks got the nice finish there. The hoop's a little still stuck there. It is, yeah. yeah. Timeout taken by the Catamounts. They're going to have to rethink things here. Marty, a very anticipated season for the Caravan. They haven't even seen the state championship since 1985. But as our good friend Christo Stimas, who announces some of the football games, uh, he's out there right now playing, but he said that before, there were a lot of teams, especially in the 90s, that you look back, who had the chance to kind of make it to state. And uh, just like then, this is one of those teams. 
Right? They have the talent. They have uh, the commits with Angelo Chiravino. We've yeah. seen a little bit of him tonight. He's going to be going to Northwestern next year. Committed over the offseason. He had a couple offers like like Stanford. Had some very big offers. Decided to stay home. Go up north, Northwestern. Uh, talking about offers and everything, Christian Uremovich has a couple for D3. And, um, you know, we have a couple of juniors out there who are they're working their way towards that as well, just like how Angelo was last year. But he just had a breakout summer, now leading the team here. Hi, right, Matt, you mentioned a possible state championship round. And looking at this team compared to last year, it seems we have a lot longer of a team. Oh, yeah. You see Christian Uremovich, number 10, 6 7. Angelo Sheridan, I believe, 6 6. These guys are going to make great, great impacts on these shorter teams, especially Bummer, a lot shorter of a team overall compared to most. This is a great finish by Angelo right there. Sheridino takes it coast to coast. The Catamounts put up two shots, neither of them good. Carrying on now six to nothing. Catamounts back on offense. Top of the key, now on that right side. They're looking for threes, trying to fight back. That one no good, rebound by Best. Grant looks down court, finds Christian, now to Sheravino with the slam. <laughs> Almost breaks the hoop. 3-1 with a probably six foot kid in the middle of the paint. You're not there stopping you that. You're not stopping that, Matt. Okay, what happened there? Got him out. Player is down hard. You know, that's when, you, that's when the three-man weave at practice yeah. comes into play though, Marty. I remember you and I being on the freshman B team. We would do that drill <laughs> over and over again for reasons just like that. Uh, you see it on the higher, high, excuse me, higher levels as well, not just the freshman team. It's not on the varsity team right here. Shalavino starting to warm up a little bit here. Got a couple of points on the night, but the Catamounts are on offense right now. Going to take it down low. Stuck in the corner here, they pass it in. Looking for a shot, they get one off, but it's no good. Rebound by Marks. Trey looks down court, finds Christian down the lane. Oh, oh that's good. What a finish there by Christian Uramovich in the end one. It's plays like those that are going to keep the caravan dominating on the offensive side of the court. Christian is headed to the line. He's fitting in very well. I talked to Coach CJ before the season, and you know, the basketball, it's a winter sport, so he's got a couple of weeks, he's actually, you know, a couple of months even, uh, with those summer games and practices. Mm -hmm. He can bond with the team, he can play with them, kind of get the, the feel of the play style that the Caravan have, and he's fitting in very well tonight. The Caravan are up 10 to nothing. Christian's looking to make it 11. Yeah, I gotta say, Christian Yamovich is, he's in my AP economics class, and I, I gotta say, he's a great, well-rounded well kid. I heard a lot about, um, from Chrisos Demas, uh, he was kind of admiring the fact that Christian um, kind of em really embraced being a transfer. Right after uh, his mm -hmm. school year ended at Stevenson, Christos Demas was telling me uh, all about how he immediately just wanted to be all part of the caravan, uh, showed up to every summer workout, every summer uh, practice, scrimmage. He just truly wants to be a part of the team. Since the free throw there, fitting in well tonight. There was some confusion there, I think, on a substitution. The Catamounts... You make it to ball is loose. Oh, it's all over the place. Cam comes up with it. Down court to Christian. Gonna pass it back to Angelo. Whistle is blown. Gonna be a foul in the Catamounts. Carry it in. Take it under the hoop. Gonna be Grant inbounding it. See what they run here. It could get. Things could change now that they have size. Last year, I was a big concern. You might see some differences in offense. See right there, they just pass it to Angelo right under the hoop to get some movement there. Great finish there by Cam Thomas. It's the simple layups that are going to mm -hmm. get you ahead in the game. It's a, it's a big difference from last year. You know, usually when inbounding it, they maybe look for a three shot, something like that. But now that Angelo has grown, especially over the summer, they can just give it to him right under the hoop, maybe find a pass or something. Oh. Had him out shot, no good. Ball is up in the air. Guys are fighting for it. Angelo comes down with it. Foul against the Catamounts. I think that foul right there in that previous shot is a uh, reason uh, the Catamounts are down 13-0 right, right there. Man. Uh, you know, we've seen a couple air balls, especially uh, outside the arc. Seen a couple shots down low, like that one there. Okay, they're not 13 to nothing. Got to make... Got to make the easy shots here if you want to beat a Catholic League mm -hmm. opponent. They're looking to they're looking to shock the city. I mean, it's it's the first day of Illinois high school basketball. We're kind of in that that uh, 
uh, sports mix where yeah. this uh, up and coming Saturday we have the football state championships as well as the corporate event of fall sports coming to a close and now winter sports are starting. Catamount so low they have another play, no they don't. Gonna go out of bounds, caravan pick it up. Great defense there by the caravan, nice tight defense. Just turn it over the ball. Simple mistakes. Might lead, uh, might lead to the caravan and taking advantage of this opportunity here. Here's something I was, I'm a little surprised by. They're having Cam take it down court. I thought Grant would kind of be that guy, but they're kind of using him as a shooting guard here. He puts up a three, shot no good. Cataman's come down with the rebound. Oh, jeez. Ball comes loose. Trey's got it. Are you? Hey! Allie Ewing marks to Thomas. About halfway through the first quarter. What a play there. Thomas puts it down. He's having a great night. All five of the caravan uh, guys are having a great night so far, Marty. Thomas, he, he came back. He went off to South Carolina to kind of play for an academy. Uh, I talked to him a little about that. You know, he said it just wasn't the right fit. Came back to Carmel. And he's, you know, I think this is the right fit for Sheridan. Sheridan gets the pass there. Puts it in down there. Score 17 to nothing. Good fundamental fake there yeah. against these the public school team. It's, just gonna make those easy plays. Cat him out. On the lane, they get it. Finally That's on the board. Finally on the board, you're right, Marty. No, I win! Sheridan almost gets it, just hits the rim. Number 11 there, didn't even, like he didn't even know what was going on. Here we go. Chris Shea at the line again. He's one for one so far tonight. Are we gonna, no, an inbound. Sorry about that, South Chris Shea at the line. Yeah, we got some subs here. Uh, number. That's number five, Anthony Hayes, the senior. Number four, Dylan Fulbright, the junior, who's in my window right now. Angelo down low. Another foul. Catamounts have uh, five fouls so far this half. Not a great start. There's three minutes left in the first quarter. They're definitely going to run into some foul trouble. The Catamounts don't even have a foul. Uh, that's some good, good defense there. I'm a little confused. Okay, now we're back at the line. We. What are we? Are, they're not in. They're not in the bonus. It's only five fouls. Um. Ref said two shots. So. Two. I guess it was a shooting foul. Yeah. I saw that just. Just the last play. Christian walked up to the line. I saw. Uh. uh Marks and Angelo lined up like it was going to be a free throw too, and then. I don't know. I, they changed their mind. Inbounded it. Angelo makes both of them. 19 to 2, three minutes to go. The Catamounts going to have to pull together here. Already running into foul trouble. Cuts back left, puts up a floater. Shot no good. Sheravino down the court looking for a pass. Going to keep it himself. Puts up a shot. Jumper no good. Gets his own oh, rebound. Gets it back up. Shot no good again. 6'6 <laughs> six, six, kid. Make yeah. those easy rebounds. <laughs> Just got to finish. He's, I think he's good. Yeah. Getting warmed up. It's the first quarter. Number 15, you got a beard over here? <coughs> Man, boy, am, I, am I seeing this right? He does, yeah. Let's see. Maybe he can uh, pull this team together. They're down by 17. Calamance looking for some big shots here. Down the lane. Step back. Shot no good. Rebound by Yovich. Passes it off to Angelo. Andrew keeps it himself. Down the lane. That's a foul. Mother. Yeah. Oh, I think I think there were four guys. Uh, you know, seriously in his way. There was only one of them uh, trailing behind. Yeah. Pretty much had the whole team on him on that shot there. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot to stop Angelo Sherevino. So. He's back at the line. We just saw him here about 50 seconds ago. Uh, game clock wise. Scores 19 to two. Sherevino getting business done. They're up by 18. So now th this game is for uh, a Thanksgiving tournament. Mm. Um, 
you know, scheduled for up north, but since both teams are kind of down here, uh, they just opted to play at Carmel. Shanavino makes both free throws there, making it 21 to 2. So both teams are looking to move on to the next round. They're looking to start off the season hot. I think uh, I think the Catamounts were looking to shock the caravan a little bit. You know, even if they didn't win, they, they wanted to they wanted to be aggressive. They wanted to be a threat. That's a big play right there. Great huge, defense there. Yeah. Huge defense. Dylan Fulbright, he's a defensive guy. I think we've talked about this before. We, uh, you know, we used to practice with him uh, mm. freshman year. The, the way he moves his feet, he's mm. a fast guy on defense. He he is not going to be trailing behind. You're really not going to have an opportunity to get past him. He's always, he's always one step ahead of you. We saw that right there. Good defense. Back on offense Wild there. open three here. Hayes, shot no good. Catamounts. A three on two here. Too. Oh, jeez. Mess it up a little bit. Looking to regroup. Balls on the ground. It goes out of bounds. See Grant Bess on the, the bench there getting hyped for his teammates. Yeah. So, I mean, they gotta make they gotta finish those three on two situations and be confident yeah, with the I, ball if you're gonna make a I saw impact. I saw somebody down there on the left side, left side of the arc, pretty much wide open. Had an opportunity to get another one here. Top of the key. Pass down there is blocked away by Marks. Shavina picks it up. Yep, another foul. So I mean, now, is that? now that's that's seven. Six. Now that seven. So uh, Shavina is going to be headed to the line. They're, out, they're in bonus with a minute and 16 seconds left <laughs> in the first quarter. Things might get rough here. We might see a couple of guys fall out in the first half. That's something you want to see. We got Eddie Ryan checking in the game. Mr. Hustle from last year on the sophomore team. Very defensive player, but he's also got a nice jump shot, Marty. Mm -hmm. Derek Edwards checking in too. Talk about, senior. Yeah. Might see a, a lot of subs here early on. Shervino one for two there on free throws. Goes up by 20 now. It's 22 to two. Catamounts on offense. Coach Seagulls. Oh, there we go. Coach. Tip away by Shervino. Down the lane. Throws it down. Makes it 24 to two. That's going to be the first of many this game. Better yet, this season. He knocks it away again. Down the lane. Shervino. Oh, my God. Backwards dunk. 180. Flips it around. Makes it 26 to two. Timeout taken <laughs> by the Catamounts. Yeah, you better get used to seeing that. Oh, uh, my. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shazoo is back on the bench. She's got the Gatorade bottle. I think he needs it. He's running around like a maniac. Two, throws down two dunks there, back to back. We've got a minute timeout here. No words, Marty. No words. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to ask you, would you see that often last year? Because, I mean, now, I feel like now no. he's the kind of captain, the leader of the team, right. he's kind of just taking advantage of his right. confidence. You know, funny you say that, I was talking to Christos about this, and Christos was like, Matt, get ready, mm. Angel put some muscle on. Like, he, <laughs> you're going to see, you're going to see a couple more big plays. Last mm. year, he, he was still, uh, he needed, you know, he needed to grow a little bit, um, he put on some muscle, he's a lot stronger this year, so I know what you're talking about, and no, I... He definitely had a, a, a couple of big plays, a couple of big dunks, yeah. but it was really his three. I always yeah, saw him yeah, yeah. from outside the arc. He always had a very consistent uh, jump shot. Yeah. I was always in you know, that, that corner three. I know a lot of college coaches talk about it, but if you want to play D1 ball, you have to make the standalone three, right? Yeah. To even be on the roster, yeah. to even be out there in the court, and he's got that for sure. Yeah. His jump shot is great. And then he added on this muscle. Now he's a huge threat for plays down low, like who we just saw back to back there. So uh, I think we're going to see a lot more of that this year. Catamounts have the ball. They're down 24 points. There's 50 seconds left in the first quarter. We've got we've got Edwards, Ryan, Best, and. Uh, First, well, we got Fulbright out there as well. And Marks. Sheravino taking a seat on the bench for the first time tonight. <laughs> uh, he, that, he, he did his job. I don't know, you know what else to say. We're going to see a couple of juniors 
uh, get some playing time here, maybe some veteran seniors. As long as we keep the defense up. Right. I know uh, on Saturday we, we sure scored up the, the football team, we sure scored a lot of points oh, yeah. on offense, but <laughs> you gotta stay consistent on defense exactly. to never win the game. Yeah. Which is being shown right here. I mean, they're getting caught up. They're, they're getting, not even, they finally get a shot off, and it's no good. Best with the rebound. I've been saying that a lot tonight. I think, uh, just like we were talking about with Angelo, Grant put some muscle on, too. Yeah. Grew out a little, grew out a little bit height-wise as well. A little bit taller this year. Ball gets poked out. Last second shot. Ricochets off the backboard. And at the end of the first, it is 26-2, the Caravan lead. And uh, the Catamounts are in foul trouble, Mark. They've got seven yeah. fouls in that first quarter. Yeah, we can see a couple surprises here. We're going to take a little break going into the second quarter. All right, Mark, we're back for the second quarter. Same group of guys we had there at the end of the first. Number 22, Eddie Ryan. Number 4, Dylan Fulbright. Number 30, Derek Edwards. Number 11, Trey Marks. And number 3, Grant Press. So two starters out there. Three guys getting some playing time. And Fulbright going to take it up. I got to say, that's a great way to start off the season right there with that oh, first yeah. quarter. Oh, yeah. See, Coach Seagulls. Very happy right here, Marks. Great pivot move there by Ooh. Ooh. Trey Marks. Single roll right up there. Makes it 28 to 2. Like you said, Mark, great move. Coming up here, Catamounts. Almost trips over there. Gets a shot off. It's inside the arc. No good. Rebound by Best. Great looking for a pass. No, gonna take it himself. Gonna slow things down here. Passes it off to Dylan. Ryan's got it. Moves into Marks, whistles Brown. Can't be, can't be committing those basic, easy, simple fouls like that. Yeah, right. If you're gonna want to even have a chance at coming back in this game for Coleman. Right. Yeah. Grant inbounds it. Edwards. Marks top of the key. Best for three. Shot no good. Oh, what a steal. Steal. Fulbright with the steal. Marks down low. Fakes it. Goes back up. Layup is good. Great play there. That court connection from Dylan Fulbright to Marks. Looking for another steal there. No. Catamounts get a shot off. It's no good. Seems like every yeah. shot they've had has been contested or just they've missed a wide open shot. I mean, yeah. it's great defense by the caravan. That's the first foul of the game for the caravan. And it's on Eddie Ryan. He's a pretty aggressive player. So let's, let's put, you know, I can see that happening, but just no fouls in the first quarter mm. uh, for those five starters. That's a great way to start the game, like you said earlier. Um, this, this is a confidence booster moving on to harder games later on in the season. I mean, we're talking three months from now, right? Yeah. And they've got to play better race for the last game of the season. You can look back at games like this Ooh. and be like, we, we, you know, we have a very strong offense, right? Yeah. Look back at Gary Coma and how we had ball movement there. We can just put it in for when we play the Crusaders. So they're, they're building a foundation right now. It's kind of a new team. A lot of transfers moving in and out. They solidified the roster a couple of weeks ago. They've been practicing with it. And, and another foul. Yeah. Forgot to mention Kevin Thomas checking back into the game. Had a very... Very strong first quarter. 
A couple of steals, couple of layups. Gonna be going to the line though. You got number 32, Christos Demas in there too. Mm -hmm. Your uh, football color commentator. Right, yeah. Um, for those who may not know, uh, Christos Demas is electrifying uh, three-point shooter. I mean, oh, yeah. he's got a very high arcing shot, but he will get almost every three you can see him shoot yep. going. Definitely the strongest part of his game, I'd say. Thomas misses that second one score, 31 to two. Demas picks up his man, ball now at the top of the key. They put up a shot, air ball no good. Grant with the rebound. Best looking up court, passes it to Fairbright down the lane. It's checked hard, ball turned over. Catamounts now, moving fast. Inside, they look for a pass, for three. Coleman not able to knock it down. Eddie Ryan keeps it in play. Wow. Now the Catamount put up another shot. But I mean, the highlight of that one has got to be Eddie Ryan. Diving over the floor. <laughs> keeps himself in the air. Throws the ball back in bounds. The Catamounts pick it up, though. They're going to be going to the line. He gets his second foul uh, of the game. I got to say, man, uh, the Comer offense looked a lot better there. I mean, they yeah. had a nice open three. They've, um, been, yeah, they've been subbing in. Uh, a lot of guys here. I think they're they're trying to find they're trying to find some connection here. Mm. Um, maybe it's maybe size isn't the answer here. Maybe they just need to throw some shooters in because they haven't gotten a lot of threes off. And right when you're down uh, when you're down 29, you're gonna need some threes, Mart. So yeah, I saw out there. They're just subbing a guy uh, a guard. Thomas now top of the key. Best for three. This is that one too. Catamounts with the rebound. Ooh, ducks under the pass. Shot no good there for Gary Kona. Best. Down, there by best. down court. Puts up a shot. It's good. Makes it 33-2. to two. The pull-up jumper just behind the free throw line is good. I mean, Kona. that's great doing his thing there. Right, yeah. Fast guy. Oh, shot man. no good. Eddie Ryan... Gets the rebound, but loses it. Looked like it was tipped out a little bit there. Catamounts put it back up. Second score of the game, 33 to four. Now it's best, passes it back out to Demas for three. There, there it is. is. There's that high arc and three shot. High arc and three, you love to see it. Junior Christos Demas sinks it there, makes it 36 to four. Now the Catamounts back on offense. In the corner, moving inside. Nice crossover move there. Oh. Ooh. Gonna call that one on Ed. I thought he might have had it there, and so did uh, the Mount Carmel bench. Saw guys like Christian and Andrew, they got a little excited. Well, that's Ryan's third foul. Um, and with the hustle comes a little aggression, with some aggression comes some fouls, I guess you gotta say. So, might have to learn from Grant Best on how to take a charge. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got it in him, though. He led the Catholic League last year, uh, Grant Best, uh, with charges. Just a lot, of, a lot of little stats like that. Mm. 36 to 7. And he ran for 3, the deep one, shot no good. Demas almost gets the rebound. Catamount's going to pick that one up though. Demas staying on him on defense. The corner 3, not going to be able to get the shot off. Third right, picks it up with the steal, passes it back to Thomas, oh, throws it down. The hoop is shaking. I'm, I'm worried that's going to break. The glass is going to go all over the place. I mean, we've already seen two of those, maybe even three of those tonight. I'm uh -huh. losing count. Catamounts. Put up a shot. It's no good. Demas reaches for the rebound. Cam's going to pick it up, though. Looking for Eddie Ryan. Everyone goes out of bounds. Gary Comer going to pick it up. I mean, Comer needs to set up a lot better shots if they want oh, yeah. to start hitting them. Here we go. Some more subs here. We've got Drew Williams, number 42, and Kyle Chevrolet, number 20. Demas and Eddie Ryan going to be checking out. Both guys playing very hard tonight. They're hustling. Let's see what Kyle and Drew can do, though. Kind of transitioning to a little yeah. bit of a smaller lineup here compared to that starting tall yeah. lineup. There's a rough foul there. Rough foul. Great. Still in the game. 
It's an all junior lineup right now mm -hmm. with Cam Thomas, Drew Williams, Grant Best, Kyle Chevalier, and um, who do we got up there? Yep, Dylan Fulbright just made a play. You gotta hit these free throws. If there you go. There you go. Yep. These free throws are. I mean, I've kind of seen it. Comer is putting up aggressive shots. If you can just keep causing fouls on these shots and hit the free throws, it, it's one way to inch back. I mean, but right. Yeah. I don't know. Thirty point difference might be a little too much there, Matt. Thirty point difference. I know what you mean, though, Mark. Right? They have to take every opportunity they can get. They went down early in the first quarter, and now they're trying to come back. Grant finds Kyle in the corner. Three. No good. Grant gets the rebound. There you go. Right there. And one for Grant. Picks up the rebound from Chevalier's corner three. I saw this earlier. Uh, Gary Comer had some confusion on the sub. I think, yep, they've got it, though. No worries there. Now we get I like the strategy here, Mark. I mean, you know, they're embracing it. That uh, they they've got to come back, right? They're down 40 to nine. Kyle Ooh. going for a hard rebound there. Gary Coleman gonna pick it up. Here, here we go. Christian Uranovich coming in for Cam Thomas. I mean, so, this, this is a little thing, but I don't know if that was a good decision putting uh. A smaller kid right in front of uh, Cam Thomas to box him out on that free throw. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. They're looking for the size. They're making a lot of subs. They're playing the different strategies. I don't know, Mark. You know, they're, they're trying everything, really. They're throwing everything against the wall. Whatever works, works. Right? I, I think they got to look at... Oh, here we go. Dylan Fulbright. They have no good. Grant puts it back up. Now they put back by Grant. I mean, it's, yeah. it's those simple layups that are going to get mm -hmm. you ahead in the game. You know, Mark, you know the Catamounts have made some shots under pressure, and I think they they have to look back at that, right? They've got nine points. They have to look at those nine points. They have to take a break and say, all right, how do we repeat what we just did with that? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because right here, we're just kind of just kind of sitting around with the ball and maybe driving in. Maybe, yeah, maybe this going to go in for him. You know, charge, charge taken by Drew. Uh, you know, I, I think kind of sitting around in those corners, you just kind of holding the ball at the top of the key when you're down 42 to nine. That's that's doing no good for you. You know, Are we, I saw it last year with uh, Mount Carmel against Simeon. They ended up losing 70 to 47. It was coming down to the end of the fourth quarter, and I could tell Coach Seagrass was like, "Game's not over. We gotta go." And mm -hmm. guys woke up a little bit, tried to make a comeback late on. Oh, I know Grant had a great game that night. Now he's a starter for the guys, but... Comebacks are hard, Mark. They're hard in, yeah. in any sport, and they're trying to find a way here uh, for Gary Comer. Grant Best going to inbound this one. Drew passes it to Kyle. Chevalier to Uranovic. Grant, top of the key, passes it down to Christian. Layup is good. Great play there. I mean, it's just quick bomb. You can yes. you can see the, the differences in the offense between Comer and Carmel is Carmel is moving the ball with right. efficiency, getting inside the paint. Very Comer is, is kind of staying around in the three point outside the three point arc, not getting much inside. Trying to play there it doesn't work. Grant Bass coming down the lane, goes for the dunk and gets it. He's all over the court tonight. I mean, I don't. I don't know, man. I, I've seen him get rebounds, assists, oh, yeah. dunks, three-pointers. Everything tonight for him. What a guy, and he's using it. There we go. Shot put up by the Catamounts. No good. Caravan going to take it. Just looking on the sideline, I see Cam Thomas with the trainer right now. I don't know if that... I don't even know what they're doing over there. Here we go. Christian down low, looking for a pass. He's got two guys on him. Grant now down the baseline. Chevalier top of the key to Christian for three. Bang, he's got it. So that extra pass from Kyle Chevalier. There you go, one more. That's what Kyle was thinking there. He saw Christian off to his right, hands it off. Now they're up by 40 with a minute and a half to go here in the first half. 
mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I mean, we're I'm almost on pace for 100 points here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got we got a couple of backups in here too. Mm. Uh, two starters out in the court right now. I, s I say that as we're making a sub here. Number 30, Derek Edwards coming in for Kyle. Kyle had a couple of good minutes there. Great assist there. Christian's uh, right side quarter three. Great taking the ball up. Minute left now. This is Hayes. See him up there. Christian playing some good defense. See, we're seeing some ball movement. They get a jump in, no good. Rebound by Drew Williams. Passes it up to Hayes. Hayes now on the left side, drives in. Shot no good, but there's a foul. He's gonna be heading to the line. It's a good move there. Mm -hmm. I can tell there is some difference there with fouls. Um, there's three minutes left in uh, this first quarter and the Cavaliers were already in foul trouble. Yeah. But now the Cavaliers have four fouls and uh, Gary Comer has five. So you look at it, big difference there, quarter to quarter. <laughs> about 40 seconds left to go here. Hayes makes it 50 on that free throw. Yeah, I would not be surprised if um, the starters are, are kept on the bench for the second half. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see, I see why they're keeping them in here in the first half. Just really, just really emphasize that lead. Just mm -hmm. yeah, make it safe for the backups to play with carefree. Uh, yeah, take control of things. Now up 51 to nine. They get a shot off, it's no good. Rebound by Christian. Uremovic finds best. Great, gonna take it up now. He's got 20 seconds to make a move. Defender pushes up, great, moves out left. Pass down to Christian, it's a fast one. Jumper is good. 53 to nine, time running out here. They're gonna have to take a last second shot. They're gonna get one off, yes they do. Oh, it's good, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's one way to end the first half. 53 to 12 is your score heading into halftime. Oh. Great first half for the caravan to start yeah. the season. I mean, nothing, nothing much more you could say with that for the caravan. Oh, yeah. Great way to start. It's the first day of Illinois high school basketball. The caravan are living up to expectations here. We're just going to take some time here. The entrance exam is coming up soon here, Marty. Yes, sir. If there's any eighth graders out there. Um, I know we've got Danny Mann, mm -hmm. your brother, my cousin. Uh, he'll be making his way out here. Um, if there's anybody out there watching, maybe on the, they're on the fence with one other school, you know, you can always shadow one of us here. Um, maybe take a last second look. I know we're doing some things like that. Just head to our website, www.mchs.org. You can take a look at things. We're going to take a little break here, though, at halftime. Caravan are up 53-12 to 12 against the Gary Comer Catamounts. Thank you.
Yeah. We apologize about that audio malfunction there. Marty, we're still switching in from the roof of the school, now here under the track uh, down by the basketball court. So we're switching up some things. But, I mean, about the roof, football team is looking pretty good. And you would know yourself, number 82. Mm -hmm. We're going down on Saturday. We've got a 4 o'clock game for the state championship playing Downers Grove North. We beat them 24-6 to last year. It was a windy one, I remember. Uh, no rain, nothing like that. Just a whole lot of wind. Um, conditions do look... Uh, um, pretty good for Saturday. Might have some showers, rain, things like that. But it's the state championship. Doesn't really matter, right? Mm. Just gonna play. Gonna be a big one. Hey, great start for Calmer right there. There you go. Yeah. Well, inbound leading to a layup. Cameron taking it down. Ball comes loose. One of the catamounts just goes rolling. That was a weird one for sure. Yeah. Uh, Interesting move, Marty. I don't know. I mean, all five starters are out there. Um, oh, I didn't even realize that yeah. until now. Yeah. We, we might see something different in the next couple of minutes, I think. I mean, Cannibals are playing well, though. Um, good block there. Yeah, puts up a shot. No good. Ball is loose. We see a jump ball. Yeah. Uh, jump of, uh, it was a jump ball before the timeout. I'm not sure. I mean, Comer looks like they're playing better out the second half, but, I mean, you still get that uh, tight defense from the caravan, mm -hmm. as you saw Angelo Sheramino was. Yeah. Okay, so it's not a jump ball and it's not a timeout. It's a foul on Cameron Thomas. Or Grant Best. Or Grant Best, Excuse yeah. Me, yeah. Grant Best, that's his second of the game. Here we go. Catamounts. They started off hot. Scores 53 to 14. They started off hot uh, at the beginning of the second half. Put up a shot, no good. Offensive rebound, oh. that one's no good. Servino sure, just gets his hand on the ball there, pushes him back down to the ground. I mean, I that's a jump ball, I guess. Uh, from up yeah. here on the, on the track, I, I could see how the play seems like it's going to develop. I could have sworn there was going to be a wide open corner three. Right. Yeah. In your bottom bottom right of your screen. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Marks inbounds it to Cameron. Thomas moving side to side, looking for the open man. Hits Christian Uremovich. Uremovich to Angelo. Sheravino's three, no good. Rebound by Cameron. It's Thomas down the lane, puts up a shot. It's good. Little dribble drive right into the hoop. I mean, that's Ken Thomas right there, just going to make those great plays. That seemed easy to him. You Makes see it 55 for the caravan. Coach Seagro is talking to Angelo, Sheravino, and Grant Best up there. Top left of your screen. Grant is staying back just in case. Number 14 for the Catamounts gets his hands on it. A little cherry pick right there. Now they're on the right side, looking to pass it in. I'm hearing lefty from one of the caravan coaches. Yeah. I think number 14 is only using his left hand for dribbling, at least from what I saw there. Oh, great play, Christian. <laughs> now you can tell their ball movement is getting better. Mm. Uh, they're moving quicker on their feet. About six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter here. We're just getting started for the second half. Sheravino at the top of the key. Finds Cameron, Cameron finds Grant. Sheravino now in the corner. Almost loses the ball, turns it over. Ooh. Now it's the Catamounts down the lane, layup, no good. Cameron, Sheravino, there you go. <laughs> Slams it down. It's like, like these. Been, didn't even have to jump, I mean, you know. Just got a little bit off the ground, threw it down over his head. 57 to 14 here. Uh, as, as we keep, we keep the starters in the second half, I, I think I'm starting to realize um, what the roles of each of these guys are now right. on this new this new team, the first uh, 
First game. I mean, I was about to say Cam Thomas is the point guard, but now we got Grant Best taking the ball up. Mm -hmm. It could go out either way, which is good. It's good to be flexible, especially when you know you're facing a lot of tough opponents in the Catholic League. If if you're stuck, if if you have this long streak of you can't make a shot or nothing's working, you can't even get a shot off. It's nice to switch things up. Maybe sub a guy in, or maybe keep the starters out there and try something new. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways they can go with these five guys. They're all very talented players. I mean, you know, you go down to Cameron Thomas, went down to, we already talked about it a little bit, he went down to yeah. South Carolina to play at an academy. I mean, he's got the skill, all of these guys do, even some guys on the bench for sure. Cam makes that first free throw. Catamounts have three fouls, the caravan have one. Still got another yep. free throw here on that three-point shot foul. I know I saw number one was a little upset after he got that foul for Comer, mm -hmm. but. That's his fourth foul of the game. Yeah, I mean, just gonna take him out. He's getting frustrated. I mean, you can't be racking mm -hmm. up these fouls if you All wanna right. keep playing in the game. They had a lot of them in that first quarter we saw. Score is 60 to 14, caravan lead. Ball comes loose, Thomas finds it. Looking for a pass, no, gonna keep it himself. Shot goes up and it's good. Mar so Marty then move when he cuts back into the lane, right? He, uh, he can fake those guys out, right? He makes them believe he's going up with a left hand layup, just cuts back in, goes up with the jumper and makes it. That's a great move by Cameron there. Gonna get it again, throws it down. Can't finally get it in. Dunk action. Kind of getting his part and what Angelo was all about earlier. You see uh, Coach yep. Seagrove sending in uh, five guys. Holding five guys. Probably, probably let the starters sit out for the rest of the game, maybe. Yeah. You we never know. know. Yeah, we might see a couple of them. Oh Sheravino with the steal. Coast to coast, he's got it. Slams it down again. Angelo is having a night. He fixes the net on his way back. Just like Coach Seagroves, uh, head coach for the Catamounts, going to put five new guys in as well. So we're going to have a whole new ball game here. I mean, a Angelo doesn't even look excited <laughs> after yeah. these plays. I don't. He's just kind of just like, oh, whatever. This is Chevalier, Fulbright, Hayes, Edwards, Ryan. And then uh, five new guys for the Catamounts. So we've got a whole new scene, whole new look on the court here. Chevalier inbounds it to Fulbright. Fulbright now passes half court. Got a couple of guys to beat. Shot goes up. It's no good. Ball comes loose off the rebound. Edwards down the lane, loses it. Got to get those defensive rebounds if you're Comer. I mean, yeah. that's just what's going to get you back on offense. He got lucky here. We're finding uh, more opportunities here. Chevalier guarding this guy at the top of the key. A little more ball movement here we've seen in the past couple of minutes. Gary Comer, yeah, they gotta go. Right there, that, that's what's killing them, is when uh, you know maybe they hold the ball at the top of the key for a little bit. Um, maybe they're setting up a play, but man, they're just, not only are they killing time, they're just killing these opportunities to maybe get a shot off because the caravan have time to regroup. Like you see right there, Eddie Ryan is just on it right there to switch from man to man on defense. Seems like Comer, uh, the players are kind of forcing a lot of shots, Matt. I mean, mm -hmm. it's I think it's it's a mix of limited opportunities with getting open and just feeling the need to just kind of just score more points with yeah. only 14 points on the board. Yeah. Fulbright now finds Chevalier. Chevalier on the right side. Chevalier cuts into Ryan. Can't find the ball. It's loose. Out of bounds. Caravan keep it. That yeah, one. Eddie, Eddie Ryan looked clueless there. <laughs> he got, yeah. ball, got lucky. Ball hit his leg. He was looking down at the ground for it. Caravan keep it though. Fulbright going to inbound this one. 
Maybe we'll see a three-point shot here. It's getting a little aggressive. Number 30, uh, Derek Edwards, one of the Catamount players there. Finds Eddie Ryan down low. He goes up with oh. it. That's a foul. I mean, you yeah. can't make that. That's just a bad foul by Coleman. Ah, uh, yeah. Ryan's going to the line. Coach Seagrove's going to talk to Edwards after a little bit of aggression there on the inbound. See if these, uh, these backup players can get uh, offense going. Mm -hmm. Ryan. That was a good rebound there by Comer. Mm -hmm. Three minutes left in the third. Pass down low, ball's loose. Eddie Ryan tries to fall on it, but it's Anthony Hayes who picks it up. Gary Comer gets their hands on it. Two jump ball, it's going the Catamount's way. Great aggressiveness there by our bench players. Oh yeah. Shows they, they're all in. When they get an opportunity to play, they're all in. Here we go. Comer looking to get a shot off. They're calling a play. Shiftiness of his caravan defense is working well. They're, just, they're not able to get it down low, really. I mean, they're looking for something. Maybe a three. You can tell that they're trying to use these screens to get down low. That pass there, stolen by Fulbright. Fulbright down the lane, gonna go both ways with it. Shot no good. There is a foul, though. Fulbright's gonna go to the line. I you mean, Matt, yeah. Comer looks like, th they look like they have a play that they yeah. know very well. And, and they, they they've just probably practiced a lot. Yeah. It's just that they just can't compete with the caravan defense. It I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. If, if it doesn't work the first time, maybe it falls apart a little bit, and then they're really scrambling, and then, like you were talking about, those rush shots kind of come in because nobody really knows what to do. Um, they just kind of throw it up there, see what happens. So, okay, we've got four new guys for the Catamounts. Sorry, five, yep, five. Last guy comes in a little, a little late. So they're playing two guys now off on the other side of the court. Chevalier and Hayes looking to control that. Fulbright's at the line. Fulbright misses that one. Ryan picks it up. Edwards for three, shot no good. Catamounts win that rebound. Pass down low, right through the hands of one of Gary Comer's forwards. I mean, you gotta, you gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I, right, I, yep. I, was, that, was that Kyle Chevalier got, guarding that kid that? I think so, yeah. Kyle's been playing defense down low a little bit, we've seen tonight. There's two minutes left in the third. Another foul. I mean. <laughs> Looked like the Comer defensive guy looked like he blocked the ball. I mean, I, I mean we're seeing this a lot with our, our caravan offense, a lot of aggressiveness in the paint. Um, I kind of noticing a lot of floaters right in, the, in mm -hmm. front of the hoop. I mean, Fulbright. Creating free throw opportunities. Yeah. This is that one. Look, Minute now, uh, 45. Comer's, oh, never mind. I was gonna say they, they got a new approach with the free throw rebound situation, but still got these two guys, uh, top right and bottom right. Right, but I mean, in order for this to work, not only do they have to get the rebound, maybe on a missed shot there, but then they've gotta go through Hayes and Chevalier who are just waiting there, mm -hmm. um, might pick off that pass. They're just gonna slow things down here. They bring it up normal speed. Looking for a pass down low, trying to get down the lane. Gonna have to throw it back out to the arc. They get a pass down low. It's a foul. There you go. That foul.
foul is on uh, number 30, Anthony Hayes. Or excuse me. Derek Edwards. Number, yeah, number 30, Derek Edwards. I say Hayes because I see Coach Seagrose is screaming his name right now. They must have something here for uh, the second shot, these two. Catamounts have six fouls. Caravan have two. I mean, this is just for a quarter, so yeah, I mean, the caravan are in double bonus. I mean, keeping that number of fouls for the caravan uh, is going to make a difference uh, yeah. in the rest of the season. Eddie Ryan finds Edwards. That one goes off, out of bounds. Good defense there by Comer. Finally stopping that uh, interior rush in the paint. Fulbright inbounds it, finds Chevalier. Chevalier going to turn it over. Ends up in the hands, almost in the hands of Eddie Ryan. Another foul. Yeah. That's what, seven fouls? Yep. Seven. So seven uh, fouls of the caravans. Seven Comer fouls to the caravans. Two fouls in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean... They say numbers don't lie, and I mean, seven fouls definitely has to do something with the score. Fulbright going to hop in here. Eddie Ryan. Put some points up on the board there. Makes it 68 to 15. Let's see what the Catamounts have in store here. A minute left in the third. Got to move quick. Driving down the lane, they get a shot off. It's good. Good shot there. Yep. Timeout taken by Gary Comer as well. 47 seconds left in this third quarter. The score is 68 to seven, your caravan lead. Mart, I mean, been a rough night for Gary Comer, but it's been yeah. a strong uh, confidence building night for the caravan. Just want to point out, we do have uh, number two, Noah Mister. Uh, he is a sophomore, transferred in very recently in Mount Carmel, so that's why he's sitting on the bench, sitting out. Um, we might see him later on, though. Our, our next game we'll be streaming is on the 28th home game against Fenwick. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Noah Mister, but I, I have um, heard from Grant Best, mm -hmm. uh, number three, the guard, uh, that Noah is, like, a very good player. I, I know Grant was – I was kind of doing a rundown of the team, and Grant was telling me uh, Noah's probably going to be that six-man guy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we'll see. There's we'll a lot of people that, up. that – and, and I think that that says something because after after those five starters – there's a, still a lot of good guys on the team. for So for Noah to come in and guys are already saying, that's a big play there for number five, Anthony Hayes. I mean, gets the end one. I guess you could say these guys battling right now, they're almost fighting for that six man spot yeah. for the rest of the season. Yeah, uh, look at the five guys on the court right now. You know, two seniors with Derek Edwards and Anthony Hayes. They're looking to get some more playing time. This is their last year of playing high school ball. Uh, juniors, Kyle Chevalier and Eddie Ryan, as uh, well as Dylan Fulbright. But Dylan Fulbright has a little more varsity experience. He was on the team last year. He got some playing time against some big Catholic League opponents. So I think Ryan and Chevalier, they're fighting for playing time more than anybody else. Uh, these juniors who are coming in, might, they might see some transfers um, attacking against their spot or anything. But really, at, at the end of the day, I think when it comes to games like this, everybody's going to get in. Mm -hmm. So the only guy that hasn't come in yet is Aiden Provost, uh, number 40. But, um, you know, that could be just be some injury issues. We know he's been dealing with that a lot. He does play volleyball. He, yeah. he got injured pretty badly in the spring, so it could be something that uh, an offshoot of that from last May. But he has a, still has a lot of time to heal. Rehab, get ready for some big games later on in the season. Hayes with the rebound there. Four seconds left. He's got to put a shot up. 
he does, it's no game. 70 to 17, that's the end of the third quarter. Well, I mean, hard, not, much, not yeah. much to say, Matt. I right. Mean. Matt, not that close here. Um, to start off the season, though, pretty solid game. Up by a lot here going into the fourth quarter. We're going to take a little break, though. Thank you. All right, Mark, we're back. Let's see. Who's coming back out on the court here? We got number 32, Christos Dimas. We got number four, Dylan Fulbright. We got number 30, Derek Edwards. Number five, Anthony Hayes. And then at the top, we got number 42, Andrew Williams. I kind of like this. Uh these backups, two seniors kind of leading the way, and then three juniors looking to get some more playing time and experience. Hayes finds Edwards. Edwards at the top of the key. Pass back to Drew. A lot of ball movement here, I like it. Demas pulls up, jumper, it's good. He knocks it down just behind that free throw line. Makes it 72 to 17. Start. Criso's doing his thing right mm -hmm. there. That high arc and shot, it works, Mark. I mean. Uh -huh. Sinks it right in there. I know uh, he works very hard on uh, perfecting that shot. I know mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see him. Uh, I'll be picking through the windows and seeing him up in the gym getting shots up early in the morning before school. Yeah. Here we go. Fulbright moving quick. Edwards for three. He's got it too. Here we go. 75 to 17. Seven minutes left in the fourth. Gary Comer pulling off some screens now. Seen a little bit more ball movement of them here in the second half. Pull up, jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, they get another shot off, they get another one off too, that one's good. Takes them three tries, but they get it. A lot of grit there. 19 points for the Catamounts tonight. Fulbright. Moving up the left side, passes it back out to Hayes. Hayes, floater, almost got it. Bounces off the rim two or three times. First foul of the Catamounts for the fourth quarter. The coach, the coach was pointing out there, uh, it looked like Andrew Williams was wide open from the three. Yeah. But missed opportunity, got, but eh, he's he at the two line. Free throws. Yeah. Misses that first one though. See, Comer's still using this two guys in the corners on the other side of the court strategy. Mm -hmm. I don't really I don't really know if it's working, but I haven't seen him use it one time, I'm not gonna lie. Um because not only do they have to fight for the rebound, maybe after a missed shot, but oh yep. That court violation. I've just yeah, I've, I've never really seen that work. Gary Comer gonna make a lot of subs here. I mean, you could probably make it work. It's just yeah. You need you need to be quick. It. You gotta yeah. You you need to have a very quick rebound and pass uh, off of the free throw there. And you also got to think. You put two guys on the other side of the court. You only have three on that other side, so mm -hmm. size becomes a factor. Um, lose a couple of threats there. I don't know. I. 
They're gonna keep on doing it. There we go, quick pass into Edwards. He's in the corner, pulls back, finds Williams. Excuse me, Fulbright, Fulbright finds Demas. Demas down the lane, he gets a shot off, no good, but he is fouled. Showing that Christos isn't all about just that, uh -huh, that yeah. three-pointer. He's got a little bit of uh, drive into him and getting towards the hoop. I know that, I remember that, that kind of took me a second to realize. I know I re remember first seeing Christos. I know he was all about that, just perfecting that jump shot. But oh, yeah. he's, he's got it in him where he can drive to that hoop. Oh, Demas knocks down both free throws there, taking advantage of that opportunity. Catamounts now. Start off on the left side, pass back to the top of the key. This is what I'm talking about here, Marty. I mean, really nothing's getting done when they kind of just sit around at the top. And I, I think that says more about the defense than the offense. The yeah. caravan are great at closing these gaps. As you see right there, number 12 for the Catamounts. He was going to try to drive into the lane. I believe that was Demas. Uh, he cut it off right away. Great read there. Caravan come back on offense. I mean, you're not seeing the Comer offense drive down the court after getting a rebound like that. So right, right. Quickness is definitely playing a factor in the score. 77-19. It's Drew Williams at the line. Got all juniors on the court once again, Matt. Like to see it, yeah. We got three minutes left. Looks like it's a running clock. Ooh, oh, Williams almost makes that free throw. Eddie Ryan's fighting for the ball. What else is new? Down there under the hoop. Catamounts are gonna have it. I yeah, think just as much as you um, I want to focus on the 77 points we got on the board. I mean, 20, what, 19 points, pretty much 20 points uh, through almost the entire game is pretty good to oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold, a, hold an offense to. Catamounts lose the ball there, rolls out of bounds. Ryan inbounds it to Fulbright. Fulbright finds Williams. Williams hits Chevalier. Chevalier passes it back. Fulbright now in the corner. Chevalier moves out. Fulbright tried to get the pass off to him. This one goes out of bounds, heading Caravan's way. Chevalier gonna inbound this one. I'm getting flashbacks to the um, JV uh, Rita game last year. Seen Dylan, uh, Dylan taking an inbound pass from Kyle Chevalier. Oh yeah, that uh, three point to win the game. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Huge game, and you know, St. Rita they they lost uh they lost some power from last year, but you know a rivalry game is still a rivalry game. No matter, no matter, you know, if, if one team's doing better than the other, whatever, it's still going to be a game, a big game. Everybody's going to want to want to watch it. Excuse me. That will be a home game later on in the season. Nice it's, shot there from number yeah, three. Step back jumper. But yeah, it's almost like St. Rita almost just lost all of their. Did they lose all of their starters from? Uh, they, yep. I mean, they had uh, James Brown, who's now off at. Um, I believe St. Louis or I know, think I, somewhere in Missouri. Yeah, yeah. yeah somewhere in Missouri. Uh, they had, you know, you, you could you could ask pretty much any of these guys on the team. I'm sure they know, but yeah, a lot of these guys did leave. They uh, Indra Situs, he went to St. Lawrence, left St. Lawrence, and now he's off on the East Coast. So mm. they lost a lot of guys. Eddie Ryan makes a move there, misses might the have, layup though. Might have been a travel there. Yeah, 30 seconds left in the fourth. Catamount's just gonna get some shots off. Williams now, might just hold on to it here. Yeah. 10 seconds left. All right, <laughs> All right what are we doing here? 
following him for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a running clock. I don't really know yeah. what they what they wanted for that one. There you have it. End of the game there. Season opener and home opener as well. The caravan gonna go home with a win, 77 to 21. Huge confidence builder, huge motivator to move on to their next game. Uh, they're gonna continue this Thanksgiving tournament. They're gonna head up north these next couple of days. Uh, well, we're not gonna see you fans for a while until the 28th when we come back from Thanksgiving break. We hope everybody has a great holiday. Go eat some turkey, Marty. I don't know what else to say except for turkey good bowl. night, Chicago.